Hello everybody, Mike Thompson here. I would like to make you aware of this book. This is one of my many accomplishments over 43 years of working as a flight instructor. What I'm emphasizing here is for flight instructors or teachers of any subject, and that is just telling something to a learner is not teaching them. In order to teach effectively, we need to build a relationship with that learner and help them learn from where they are giving them what they need. So this can be found on Amazon or if you come by the Epic Gift Shop. Hello everybody and welcome back to the Private Pilot Ground School. Our topic today is stability and maneuvering flight. We're talking right now about secondary flight controls. So we have four types of secondary flight controls. Those are flaps, leading edge devices, trim systems, and spoilers. So let's take them in sequence. First of all, flaps. Why are flaps important? What do they do? Well, if you take a look at this diagram, flaps increase the camber of the airfoil by changing the cord line. Now, remember when we talked about the angle of attack and we said the cord line was an imaginary line from the leading edge to the trailing edge? Take a look at this diagram and see how we've actually taken the trailing edge of this airfoil and dropped it down. In reality, that's a flap. So aerodynamically, we've changed the cord line. Remember the angle of attack was the angle between the cord line and the relative wind. So for the same relative wind, with the new cord line, we now have a larger angle of attack. This means that flaps help the airplane produce more lift at a slower speed. When we talk about flaps, we see that there are four primary types of flaps. Here they are. The plane flap, that's just like taking the back end of that airfoil and just dropping it down. Secondly is the split flap. Notice the top of that airfoil camber stayed in place and the bottom dropped down. The third type is called a slotted flap. Now, similar to that plane flap, except in this case, you see that open air slot between the wing and the flap. And then fourthly, we have what's called the fowler flap. Now with that fowler flap, it's not only going down, it's also moving aft at the same time. Those are our four primary types of flaps. Our second of the four secondary flight controls is trim systems. The trim tab is used on aircraft that have horizontal stabilizers with elevators. So you can see in this diagram, horizontal stabilizer, an elevator, and on the trailing edge of that elevator is a trim tab. What does it do? It helps relieve pilot control pressure. What do we mean by that? Let's say we're holding the aircraft in a steady climb. See how the elevator is up, which pushes the tail down, which pushes the nose up? And we want to hold the aircraft in that position for a while and climb up to altitude. Well, we can put the trim tab in the down position to help hold the elevator up. That takes pressure off of the pilot's yoke. That's what we mean when we talk about relieving control pressure. All right, the second type of trim system is the servo tab. Now, as we talk about this trim tab, 
There's two ways to actually control it in the cockpit. In the Cessna 172 aircraft that you'll be flying at Epic Flight Academy, the manual control is this wheel right here. Your flight instructor will work with you on how that wheel controls your trim position and how you trim control pressures off the aircraft. The second way that trim tab might be controlled on the 172s that you'll fly at Epic is through an electric switch on the pilot's yoke. The other type of trim tab that you might come across on the 172 is called a fixed trim tab. On the Cessna 172 you'll see a fixed trim tab on the rudder. The fixed trim tab helps the aircraft maintain its yaw direction. The third type of secondary flight control are leading edge devices. Now, the leading edge device that we want to talk about is called the SLAT, S-L-A-T, SLAT. Unlike flaps, slats are on the leading edge of the wing. And like flaps that drop down, slats also drop down. But they drop down on the leading edge. Now, the reason for this is so high-speed aircraft, when they move to slower speeds, can drop both the slats and the flaps, and at these slower speeds, control the airflow over the new camber on this wing to prevent it from reaching a critical angle of attack and allowing it to fly at a slower speed. The fourth of our secondary flight controls is called the spoilers. Now spoilers you're not going to find on a 172. These devices you'll find on high-speed aircraft, typically jet aircraft. In this diagram, you can see the spoilers raised on the left wing. The spoilers do exactly what they say. They spoil the lift created by that wing. These secondary flight controls are used on the ground to help the aircraft slow down. So, Here's a couple of review questions for this segment of the lesson. On the Cessna 172, what two types of trim tabs do we have? Secondly, on the Cessna 172, what are the two ways to control the trim tab? And here's the third question. Name or describe some of the advantages of flaps and flap systems on an aircraft.